believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Today it is incumbent and imperative upon you but to believe that anything you put your mind to, you can achieve. In 1712, there was a young man, in essence a slave owner, by the name of Willie Lynch. Uh, Willie Lynch, he found himself believing that he had the remedy or uh, the protocol and how to instruct a slave to obey him. In fact, he went to the degree to say that what he practiced would go on for 300 years. Okay. Willie Lynch spoke to several slave owners, 1712, and he gave them the, the remedy of how to hold slaves in bondage, how to hold slaves to obey the master and him only. Here it is in a quote that Willie Lynch uses or a method for what he says. Train or rather you take the meanest and the most relentless black man. You strip him of his clothes in front of the remaining male black men. In front of the female and the black infant. Tar and you feather him. Tie each leg to a different horse. Face in the opposite directions. You set him afire and you beat both horses to pull him apart in front of the remaining black folk. The next step is to take a bull whip and beat the remaining black males and to, point, to a point of death in front of the females and the infants. When well, they said, don't kill him, but put the fear of God in him, for he will be useful for future grieving. This speaks to us today. We find ourselves divided amongst each other. Well, at least you use the common uh, principle to separate the lighter skinned black folk from the darker ones. Separate the female from the male. And he said that if I can get the fear in the female, or when she births an infant, she will literally tell her infant, don't you try, master. Master is the one that we depend upon. What you're saying, preacher, is that we often have come to a mentality that we believe that we can achieve. Right. But yet, I want to help you understand today that anything is possible. Yes, yes. For the text says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And it is important for us young folk to understand that no teacher, no principal, no employer, no one around you can tell you that you will never succeed. Right. For if God is for you, if the Holy Spirit is inside of you, if goodness and mercy is behind you, you can do anything. Well, the power is within you. If you look at this text, Paul finds himself writing to this church. And he writes to them because they have been a good church to him. They've blessed him in his time and the hour of need. But we must understand in the drop of the text that Paul says, that he has learned to be full and he learned to be humble. Learned to have need and not to have need. But I want to understand today that as we move forward, as you, as you, the young folk who are growing up and prayerfully in the ammunition of the Lord and using your talents, using your ability to be able to praise the Almighty Father, you got to understand that there will be some folk that will tell you you will never make it. There will be some folk that will tell you you need to stop acting like a child of God. But you got to understand this morning and get around this afternoon that God got you back. David said that the Lord is my what? Shepherd, I shall not want. But rather he said in the latter part, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Why, David? For God is with me. It's important for us to understand that anything is possible with God. But when you are without God, the Bible 
Bible says you can't do anything. So as we go forward, as you deal with your youth leaders, your youth ministers, your youth workers, it is important for you as young folk to know that you can do anything. You can evangelize the world. You can sing harmonies to God, knowing that God gets the praise. The Bible said, let your light so shine before me. They may see your good works. What are they going to do, preacher? Glorify your Father, which is in heaven. There's power in this house. There's power over here. Is that right? There's power over there. Is that right? All right, let's try that again. There's power over here. Is that right? There's power over here. Is that right? I think they got more power. Grandmother overcome slavery, overcome situations in their life that one believed that would never be able to overcome. Because what they did is unify themselves. They got to a point where they said, Forget Bully Lynch, forget him trying to scare us into submitting to him, to submit to fear, submit to fear, submit to not being able to succeed. They began to grab each other by the hand. Oh, and I can hear the song today. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. What church? Someday. Don't let nobody stop you. Power is in you. Well, well Brother Hinton, I don't see the power. It's in you. But, but, but I, know I can't sing like her. I, I can't preach like him. The power is in you. Nobody can stop. Why? Because God got you back. Amen. And if God be for me, what the Bible says? Who can be against us? If God is for me, say the church, who can be against us? Come hell, I will, I will make it. Come situations, I will stand. Come somebody trying to stop me, I will be able to hold on to God and change your hand. For I heard a somebody say, we're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion, understanding that I may not get where I want to be, but all I got to do is just keep on marching. I may not be where you are, but I got to keep on pushing. Well, why, preacher? Because the power, I'm about to say power, the power, say it again, inside of me. You may not see it right now, you may not. Be the, you may not be that doctor right now. You, you may not be the lawyer right now. You, you may not be that the, the best school teacher in Florida. Yes, sir. But it's in you. Yeah. Amen. You may not be that great poet. You may not be the great actor, actress. But it's in you. Yeah. You may not be, be the minister of the church. You may not be the elder or the deacon. You, you may not be the, the song leader right now, but it's in you. Yeah. Amen. And it's in you. And all you got to do is be persistent and consistent yeah. and it will come out of you and God will get the glory. Yeah. Right. You live for today, you got to believe. Yeah. When you don't believe, God can't reward you. All right. When you don't trust, God can't reward you. Amen. Don't, don't trust God with half your heart. Trust with all your heart. Yeah. There was a son, or rather a father, that we come to a close that that gave his son some wisdom. Proverbs chapter 3. He said, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall he add unto thee. Let thy mercy and truth for safety bound about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart, so shall thou find favor in the sight of God and me. Father gives the word and says, Trust. In the Lord, with all that heart, and lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge him. What are you going to do? Direct thy path. Then he says, son, be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be help to thy neighbor and marrow to thy 
chaperones. What is the father doing? He's telling his son, trust in the Lord. And when you trust in the Lord, God will bless you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things will be added unto thee. We've got to understand as young folk that power is within us. Nobody will stop us. If we are together and we keep pushing, we will succeed. And so as you go forward today, to various congregations, various buildings, various ministries, you got the power. You see, the great thing is that Hulk Hogan, he got some power. He got some power. You see, uh, The Rock, he got some power. I see y'all like wrestling, so let me say, uh, John Cena, he got some power. Uh, let, me, let me come over here today for your wrestling. CM Punk, yeah, he got some power. Uh, uh, Obama, President Obama, he got some power. Yeah, yeah he got some power. Uh, uh, also, you know, you know what else got some power? You see, uh, the, the 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 welfare office, they got some power. And, and lastly, we, we we know that we know that 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 that, that uh, the our job, it, the employee, he got some power. But God's got all power. And, and, and who am I to be afraid? Who am I to fear? But man is going to do to me. Because I said with God, they got all power. You better not mess with me. Jesus said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. Don't, don't worry, young folk. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let nobody, even in the body of Christ, stop you. For some member, they, they, some are not ready for, for, for a uh, new method. But you gotta tell them, I'm not changing the message, I'm changing the method. And they're not ready for, for your, your technological skills, some folk. They're not ready for your, for, for your intellect that you are bringing. You, you, so far you want to pass a, a mule in a wagon. You, you're a little quicker. They, some are some folk not ready. But you got power. And you can help your church to get greater, to get better. You can have the minister, you can have the youth worker, but you got to believe in yourself. And everybody believe they can achieve. Perhaps someone said to me that is not a child of God. What you got to do, you got to listen to God. Hear his word. When you hear, you got to act upon what you heard, you got to believe. Uh, then you must repent. Luke 13, 3 says, I tell you, name, but unless you repent, uh, you will all likewise perish. You must confess Jesus Christ to be the Son of God. We'll baptize you even today in the water we raise the baptism. I preached this morning the subject, the sermonic name, Stuck in the Wilderness. Some are stuck in the wilderness. You see, we, some of us have been baptized but we're not delivered. All right. Some have been washed in the blood of the Lamb, but we still got addiction. Is that right? So some of us have literally become a child of God, but yet we still suffer with issues. Suck in a place that one perhaps will say you'll never overcome, but with God you can. Why? Because you got power. If you need the Lord, if you need prayer, if you need to say, say, Brother Hinton, I, I find myself uh, uh, not really saying anything, but, but my mind is not right. My, my, my mind has not been renewed because right now I'm conforming to the world, but, but I know the Bible says I got to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. And so, Brother Hinton, I, my mind got to get right. And so, guess what? The church, we want to pray with you. We want, to, we want God to, to increase your faith. To know that you're able. If you need the Lord today, you don't want to be baptized. You didn't come to be baptized, but, but your heart is pricked. And you say, I got to obey God. Because tomorrow God promise. You can come to God too. Perhaps somebody needs prayer. 
in prayer for your families, young people. Your mom may be sick. Your dad may not be, be in the area in your house at this time. And you want to pray that daddy comes back. You want to pray that mama began to get a job or, or that, that your family began to get a more steady house because you all move all the time and you just get tired of going to different schools all the time. You just want to ask God to help y'all. We can pray for you. Perhaps you find yourself in a situation where, where it seems like you're the only young person in the house. Mama stay home, daddy home, sisters, they, they curse anybody out, but you trying to do right, and it's pressure. You come home, and it's, it's pressure to stay alone, but, but yet your youth leader, your youth minister say, keep coming to church, keep holding on. You need prayer. Yeah. We want to pray with you. Yeah, you want to hold your hand yeah. and let God have his way in the house. For why? Because we believe in the power of prayer. Because we know the prayers of the righteous. God has power. So much power. I just seen a little bit today. Great song. And guess what? If that sounds so good, I don't even need, need instruments. There's some folk that sound terrible when you play the piano, they sound great. <laughs> but whatever it is, they harmonize it. That they're, they're reading, they're, they're praying. That's power. And you know what? Satan don't like that. The devil don't like you coming talking about, I'm going to sing a song about Jesus. The devil don't like the little girl coming saying, It's me, your Lord's time to get a need of prayer. He wants her to say, oh, well, When can I get a boyfriend? That's what he wants. If you need prayer today, come to Jesus. As you all stand and sing invitations. There's power, there's power. Wonderful power. 